morning. Good morning. Can you all hear me? Yeah. This is a very exciting day for me. Also a little nervous, but okay. So I was born to a Christian family. So I was blessed to have that as a child. Even though no family is perfect, even a Christian one, it's a blessing and I thank God for it. I was probably five or six when I did the prayer with my mom and accepted Jesus into my heart. However, I can't say I grew much spiritually until later in life. In fact, right around now in my 30s. Church was just nice to me growing up and I enjoyed the food, the singing, and the fellowship. I had fun going to youth group, participating in plays, and Bible verse memory games to win prizes. Despite all of this, most of the time the sermons just bored me. Or I just wanted it to be over so I could go to fellowship time and eat the sweets or play with the other kids. However, Pastor Heinzius of Fairview Gospel Church was one of the most inspirational pastors to me. He was not only kind, but had strong messages that could grab everyone's attention, even the younger folks. My progress, though, as a Christian has been slow, and I think one major reason for this was because of health problems that started back in 1999. When I was struck with these symptoms, it became the main focus of my life. I became quite depressed and even angry that this was happening to me. And who was I angry at? Thinking back on it, I was mad at God. What did I do to myself to deserve these health issues, and why at such a young age of only 21 did I have to feel like an old person with no energy? My muscles were tender, my appetite was diminished, and my stomach problems began. For that first very difficult year, I struggled, and at times I even battled thoughts of suicide. I cried when praying with my mom about it, and she cried too. That kind of bothered me that I was making my mom cry, but I knew it was, of course, because she loved me and was genuinely concerned. Unlike the doctors who dismiss me as either being too young or suffering psychological problems. You know, the it's all in your head routine that some medical professionals will insist on that only served to worsen my depression. I was getting no answers and felt like I was wasting my time and what little money I had. I felt lower than low, and I suppose this is an example of what other Christians mean about having to hit the bottom of the pit before you climb back out again. Fearing for my future and fighting the endless nagging worrying, I believe this is when I really started talking to God. In my mind, I would cry out, this is more than I can bear. And didn't you say you would never put upon us more than we can bear? Of course, this only ended up making me feel ashamed. Who was I to question God in anything? And yet, shortly after I had a dream where I heard a voice on an answering machine and said, this too shall pass. I felt it was a simple but powerful message that things would get better, and they did. Although slow and gradual, I did have improvements as I could get back on my feet again instead of lying around all day and start babysitting to earn some money. At the time, I wasn't working due to these health issues for almost a full year. Having no insurance, I went back to doctors one more time under charity care. There was one nice young doctor who squeezed my ankles and asked me if it was tender. I said yes. That was when he mentioned a condition I had never heard before, fibromyalgia. Mm. And while this was a tentative diagnosis, when I went back home and researched it, all of the symptoms fit. With some kind of answer, I could now realize it was a manageable chronic illness and fight on. As time went on, my symptoms did become more manageable, and I realized God had truly answered a prayer. He had not cured me of this trial, but had made it easier to bear. Eventually, I got back to working full time, and soon I got a job in an office and started looking for my first apartment. Now, it was around this time that I developed a new health problem. Just as I started volunteering at a horse riding farm on weekends for fun, a terrible left-sided pain started in my abdomen. This pain would persist and hound me for several years, and during this time, it dampened my spirits, renewed fears, made working difficult, and even sent me once to the ER. But I wouldn't quit, and I, knew, I know now that only God could have given me that strength to carry on. Sometime later, I made the decision that this pain was going to go away, and that was that. My brother one day told me how he beat back pain by reading a book called The Mind-Body Connection by Dr. John Sarno. After about six months of practicing positive affirmations and other such mental training techniques, I found this pain deteriorating. At first, I almost couldn't believe it. Eventually, it stopped altogether. I praise God and still praise God for this burden being lifted for me after dealing with it for nearly three years. Now, at this time in my life, I have new problems with weight gain, fatigue, 
and persisting digestive issues, but the difference is there is a peace in my soul that I have not had before. I knew this was God's untiring love and guidance. I feel more connected to him now than I ever had in my life before. I had a taste of this endless love one night this past Mother's Day when I went to bed and I was thanking God for a great day of family and photos. Suddenly I felt an incredible flood of emotion flowing through me, like a warmth that started deep in my chest and covered my whole body. Tears came unbidden and I said aloud, albeit quietly, the name of Jesus three times and that I loved him. <clears throat> to me this feeling was an unmistakable message that God loved me and would not abandon me nor forget me. Now some could say it was just a typical female emotional outburst or give some other rational explanation. But I knew what I felt and I am certain of its meaning. This is why baptism has now become so important to me. I want to do it only for Jesus as a message of eternal love to him. I don't do this for myself or others around me, not any one person on this earth. I am doing this for God and God alone. Praise his holy name. <laughs> 